Okay, you all, I am done. This is just some bleach spray. I always have to, of course, everybody should do that. Spray your stuff down when you're done. But I want to show you all how I discard of the extra stuff. So, I have my bag here. I didn't throw it away for a reason. I'm just going to take all of the extra gook and put it in here. And then I'm just going to wrap this up in a couple of uh, plastic bags. And I'll wash all of that. So I just want it to, just a way to discard of that. So now I'm just going to get my sink clean and we'll go ahead and start cooking our chitlins. Alright y'all, got my pot hot. I'm going to go ahead and add a little olive oil and butter. I'm also going to add my onions. I usually add a little celery, but I'm not going to add any this time. And I'm just going to saute those just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of my all-purpose. Just want to saute it for just a little bit. It smells delicious. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my garlic. And I just have some minced garlic here. Turn the heat down to a medium. All right, I'm gonna add a little water. You can add uh, chicken broth, whatever, whatever you like to add to it. I didn't use chicken broth this time because I'm using my um, my chicken bouillon flavor, so. I usually use one or the other. I don't use the chicken broth and uh, the actual chicken broth flavor. All right, I'm gonna add a little more water, but first I'm gonna go ahead and add my chitterlings here. And you just wanna have enough water to where it covers them. You just want to make sure they're covered in the pot, whatever the liquid that you're going to use. Okay, so I added my water. I'm going to also add another uh, blend of spices I have. I have a little uh, celery salt, complete season all, crushed red pepper, my chicken bouillon flavor. Um, what else do I have in that? I'm not even sure what all I have in there, but I know for a fact those are the main seasonings I have. So now I'm just gonna, first I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down and, and let it cook. And it's gonna take a couple of hours to cook. Cooking times do vary, um, but I'll let you know how long that, I will, that I'm gonna cook mine. All right, so we'll come back. Uh, we'll come back and check on it shortly. Okay, you all, it's been an hour, but they're not done yet enough for me, so I'm just going to stir them. I just wanted you all to see them. All right, so I'm going to let them cook some more, and I'm cooking mine covered, as you saw. Um, with the top on them. So I'm going to let them cook another hour and we'll come back and check them. Okay, you all, it's been two hours. Now at this point, um, you can try them and see if they're tender enough for you. I'm going to go ahead and cook mine uh, a little longer. I usually start trying them. I mean, mine are usually done between hour two and three, but I just wanted you all to see. So now when I come back, um, 
once mine are done to my desired tenderness, then I'll try them for you all, and that'll be it. And um, I didn't add anything to them, no more water. All of the seasonings are, uh, I just cooked them in the seasonings that you all saw earlier. It's very good. I taste the juice, and that flavor is so on point. So, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to give mine a little longer. And once I come back, I'll uh, test them for you. Or try them out for you all, and then that'll be it. Okay, you all, so my chitterlings are done. It's been two and a half hours. I'm going to go ahead and take some out so I can um, taste them for you all. Okay, um, one thing that I didn't do that I do sometimes is I cut mine up beforehand, but I didn't cut them up as you all saw beforehand. Well, I guess you didn't know if I cut them up or not, but I did not cut them up, so... Just, you can just cut them up once you get them on your plate. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. And I want to taste one first without my hot sauce. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm going to mess these up. I like mine over some white rice, so, but I'm not going to eat mine today. I made some um I made me some Alfredo, me and the kids some Alfredo for dinner. So I'm actually going to eat these tomorrow with some rice. If I can pick it up. Mmm. 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 That is so good. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, two and a half hours. Mmm. Mine are nice and tender. Tastes good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off. And I'm gonna just show you one more time over here in the pot. Just so you can, uh oh, phone trying to come off. There we go. So, <clears throat> and my juice, excuse me, is that color because I used uh, a chicken, chicken bouillon flavoring in there. So that's why it's kind of a yellowish color, but it tastes really good. They came out good and delicious as usual. So, all right, y'all, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was of some help to those that have asked me. Like I said, I, I really wasn't going to make the video, but you, I have so many people that inbox me about the chitterlings. I was shocked. So I said, let me go ahead and do it. Plus I said I would. So there you have it. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed evening and go Patriots.